guys, it's Dr. Randy Lample, aka Dr. Motivation. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the very first episode of Woman Crush Wednesdays with Dr. Motivation. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm currently an obstetrician and gynecologist in training with a special interest in sexual health. So what is sexual health? So sexual health is the well-being of your mental, physical, social and emotional state with regards to sexuality. And I find that in our community, so many sexual topics are quite taboo. We're not allowed to talk about it. We're not allowed to speak about reproductive words. We're not allowed to mention them in public spaces. And I felt that we'd be really powerful if we learned about our sexual health and we learned about our bodies, you know, as women, and we learned about the different functions of our body. So in this first episode of Women Crush Wednesdays with Dr. Motivation, as you can see, I am wearing the female reproductive system. My books are falling, but that's okay. I'm wearing the female reproductive system. And so we're gonna go through the anatomy. We're gonna go through your different body parts so that when you learn your body parts, you can love your body parts. You can understand what your different parts of your body are actually doing. What is their function? And I think that's the baseline. In order for me to build and to teach you guys a lot more about your bodies, you first need to understand the anatomy of your body. What is it that your body's doing? So the first big hack is that most of us think that if we look down between our legs, we're looking at our vagina. Please, can I tell you that I don't know who lied to us, but that is not your vagina. If you look down between your pants, you're actually looking at your vulva. That is called your vulva, right? And when you look at your vulva, um, I'm gonna break it up into three different parts. So on top of the vulva, you have that triangle that has a lot of hair. That part is called the mons pubis. If you go down from there, you have two big lips. You know, when they talk about the lips of the vagina, those are the big lips. The lips that have hair on them is the labia majora. Majora for the word big. So if there's a majora, there has to be a minora. So inside of your um, labia majora, protecting your labia majora is your labia minora. The minora are the small, thin lips, and those lips don't have um, any hair on them. So now if you look at the top where um, the labia minora meet, there's a little, little something, something poking out there at the top. And that is called your clitoris. That is called the clitoris, right? Now we're done with the outside part of your body. Now we go on the inside part. So I want you guys to have a look at my t-shirt, right? This is your vagina, right? Your vagina is the little muscular canal. So if you put your finger inside the, the through the vulva, inside the hole of your vagina, this is where you'll be you'll be inside the vagina. So you can't see your vagina when you're looking down. Your vagina is the canal that is inside of your body, right? So on top of your vagina, you then have the cervix. The cervix is there at the bottom. So when you're having a baby, when you're giving birth, this is the part, the cervix, right? Is the part that opens and dilates up to 10 centimeters in order for your baby's head to come down, right? Then you've got the muscular, triangular structure inside and that is called your uterus your uterus has three different layers so when you are when you are pregnant the uterus is the one that houses your baby so your baby will be chilling inside the uterus and growing for nine months right attached to your uterus you have this lovely tube called the fallopian tube so the fallopian tube is where basically the egg that you release when you're ovulating the egg travels down the fallopian tube right so that's what the fallopian tubes are for. You've got two fallopian tubes. So if they cut one, guess what? You still have another tube where you can give birth. By the way, my mom gave birth with one fallopian tube. So guys, don't worry. You can have lots of kids with one tube. And then you also have your ovaries. So your ovaries are the ones that will release the egg when you're ovulating. And then your tube, your fallopian tube will go and pick up the one egg. And then the egg will travel, travel, travel into your uterus grow the baby for nine months cervix dilates baby passes through the cervix through the vagina through the vulva and wang 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 baby is alive so that is just a really quick anatomy lesson on knowing the different parts of your body and what they do so the egg the egg comes from the ovary the fallopian tube transports the egg to the uterus the uterus houses the baby also when you're menstruating the blood that you see coming down is coming from the wall of this uterus 
So the blood that comes down drips down from the wall of the uterus through the vagina and that's what you see coming out of your vulva, right? And then you have your vagina as well. So that's where the sperm will travel up the vagina, up the uterus, and then it meets with the egg. All right. So those are the different parts of your body. On the outside, I quickly want to talk about the um, clitoris. So the clitoris is an organ of pleasure. I mean, can you believe it? You have an entire organ that is dedicated for your pleasure. Who am I that you are mindful of me, you know? I used to think that the uterus was my favorite female organ, but then I realized that the uterus can literally kill you. You can literally die from bleeding and cancer and all kinds of crazy things. So me and the uterus are in a difficult relationship. However, guys, your clitoris, your clitoris is literally there for the, you know that one leg shake, you know? The one, don't act like you don't know the one leg shake. I mean, we love the clitoris. The clitoris is literally a organ of pleasure that's my favorite female organ um such great purpose that it serves as well um what else do i need you guys to know i think that's the main thing that i need you guys to know so i need you guys to know the different parts of your reproductive system what is what and what is doing what so that when we build up in the coming weeks you understand when i say okay when you have an ectopic pregnancy and i tell you that's when your pregnancy is not inside the uterus it's in the tube you understand what i mean so i need you guys to understand the anatomy really well and um what i need you guys to do for me after this video is the first thing i need you to do is to grab a mirror Is my mirror let me grab my mirror give me two seconds okay so here's my mirror so this is a very affordable mirror you can get it from clicks you can get it from disc game so i want you guys to grab this mirror i want you to put one leg on your bed and i want you to take this mirror and put it by your vagina and look at your vagina oh what is that take your two fingers separate the labia majora which remember we said are the big thick lips with the hair on it S separate <coughs> excuse me separate the labia majora and look on the inside of your vulva what a shock some of you didn't even know that the inside was pink welcome to your body welcome welcome and then i want you to flip the mirror because the mirror has two sides it has the normal size and then it has the zoom side flip to the zoom side have a look at your vagina look at what she looks like some of you are being eaten every weekend and you don't even know what you're serving you've never looked at your vagina and you just need to ask yourself do you ever cook for your family blindfolded and serve them food blindfolded no you don't why because you eat with your eyes first right so whoever's eating you is going to eat with their eyes first so you need to see what is it that you're serving and more importantly, you need to know what your vagina looks like and your vulva looks like so that if there's any pathology, if there's any disease, you'll be able to pick it up very, very early. All right. So I want you guys to look at your vaginas when you're done looking. I want you to smile your fingers. You must know what her scent is like, know what she smells like so that when that changes, if you have some sort of foul smelling odor, you can pick it up extremely early. Right. So that's the first thing I need you guys to do for me. The second thing I need you guys to do is to tell me what is your favorite female organ and why. The third thing I need you to do is to tell me how it makes you feel after you had a look at your vagina and your vulva. What did it make you feel? What did you think about? What are the emotions that you had um, attached with that? And then of course, I need you guys to comment um, in the comment section. Let me know what kind of videos do you want me to do? What topics do you want me to talk about? nothing is off limits with dr motivation we will talk about every single thing and we'll cover every single thing you guys just let me know and if you have any questions please drop your questions below we will definitely attend to each and every one of your questions otherwise guys it's your favorite doctor it's your favorite vaginologist it's your favorite womanologist it's your favorite obstetrician it's your favorite gynecologist thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe join the notification gang and of course share 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 guys it's vital information that i'm going to be providing let's not be selfish about this information 
share it with your friends men are welcome to join the channel i think men will actually learn a lot about us women during these conversations so we encourage men to come and join us so that they know how to love us right when they understand our bodies well um so please guys don't forget like comment share subscribe notification gang let's go i can't wait to hear from all of you guys this was the first episode of woman crush wednesday we're coming in slow but we're gonna go really really fast from here thank you guys so so much for joining me it's your favorite doctor it's dr motivation thanks for watching